Pokemon, a game series where normally you get to build a team of up to six Pokemon to collect gym badges and take on the regional league to be ground champion. But today, that's not the plan. I'm seeing if it's possible to beat the 16 gyms of Johto and Kanto, be crowned the regional champion, and beat Red with only one Pokemon, a Snorlax. After leaving New Bucktown, I had a fight against my rival. Yeah, I should... If you had a berry on you? Oh yeah, I tried to check, but... Whose Totodile didn't stand a chance against my tackles. Now it was time to claim my first badge. Right, I mean, let's get first badge. How hard can it really be? Pidgey. Level 7? Why is he so low compared to his friends? Geoto. That's gotta be like. Didn't his friends have like level 11s? I say his friends, the other people in the gym with him. Do you use potions at this stage? No, you don't. Oh, crit hits do exist. I've just not seen one yet. Incredible. But as I was three levels higher than his Pokemon, I had no trouble doing this. As long as I have After freeing the slow pokes from Team Rocket, I challenged Bugsy for my second badge. Well, it is a good thing that Snorlax learns a rollout at level 50. Where do you fight? I'm assuming it's the same as in Heart Gold and Silver when you fight him. Which means that I'd fight him. If I'm after the gym. After getting my second badge, my rival turned up again, but this time with a ghastly. And at this point, I only had tackle to deal damage, which doesn't affect ghost types. But instead of accepting defeat, I used defense co and amnesia to raise my stats and waited for both of us to run out of PP. In the end, I won the battle by struggling. There we go. Okay, ghastly's dead. Of course. Well, this is my one Pokemon that hasn't hit himself. Nice. Alright. Easy win. Let's... Before heading through Ilex Forest to Goldenrod, I taught Snorlax Mud Slap. And once I got to Goldenrod, I bought Fire Punch from the department store and replaced Tackle. That just seems like a good idea. Now, it was time to get my third badge from Whitney. But, like, After losing to Whitney getting Explosion from Metronome, I came back and realised that I'd made a huge mistake. I'll fire punch you. Fire punches. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Fire punch was a special attacking move, and I had replaced tackle, my only stab move, so I had to use mud slap to beat the mill tank. Come on, you've... Yeah, there we go. I don't want to speak about it. It's called Fire Punch. Why the hell would I expect that to be a special attacking move? Well, Before taking on the next oh, gym, I went back to Ilex Forest and got the TM for Headbutt to teach Snorlax a few okay. levels early. Uh, pack. Right, thank you. Headbutt. Now I'm going to get rid of, um, Fire Punch. The next gym used Ghost type Pokemon meaning that I couldn't hit them with normal type moves. But I had Mud Slap, which was super effective to the Ghastlies that they used. But not quite strong enough to one-shot them. And this caused a problem. Morty would use Curse, meaning that each turn I didn't knock out one of his Pokemon, I would take damage. This could be avoided by using Belly Drum to max out my attack stat. Well, that could be a problem, actually. Please don't curse me. You know, that's fine. But there was still a problem. Morty always used hypnosis. Even if I was asleep, he would still use hypnosis, which meant that each turn I slept, I couldn't knock out one of his Pokemon, and I would take damage due to curse. In the end, after he took all of my money, his Haunter finally missed 
the hypnosis. Out came Gengar, who also missed miss, his hypnosis. Miss, miss, finally! And his last haunter didn't use it. I don't know what it tried to use, but finally, that's such a dumb fight. It's literally, just, that was just, can I get the right RNG? The next gym used fighting types, which meant they had moves that were super effective to me. But during this gym, Snorlax hit level 36, which meant I was able to teach him rest and snore. The plan was now to use Belly Drum to take half of my HP, but maxing my attack stat. On the second turn, I would use rest to fully heal, and then use snore to snore them to death. The problem with this plan was that Snorlax is slow, and would often be hit before I Belly Drummed, meaning that I need to be able to survive two hits, as well as losing half my HP to Belly Drum. Chuck's Primeape outsped me and used Leer on the first turn, which wasn't a problem, but after I had used Belly Drum and half my HP, it would always Karate Chop me and finish me off before I could heal with rest. To deal with this, I used Mud Slap to lower its accuracy before I used Belly Drum. And then the next turn when I use rest, it missed. Use rest. Missed. I'm full HP. This meant that I wasn't in range for it to use Karate Chop, and instead it used Fury Swipes, and I finished it off with a Snore. That's dead Primeape. Outsped his Polyrath, and one shot that with another Snore. Oh, I outsped? Wow. I'm gonna expect that, and it should die. Yeah. Oh, and I critted. No, I think this plan's gonna work well. Gym 6 is a steel type gym, so I set the plan of using Belly Drum, Rest, and Snore. Snore. That's this Magnemite dead. Once I'd taken out the first couple of Magnemites, I used Mud Slap on the Steelix as I needed him to miss, and Mud Slap lowers accuracy. I Mud Slap. It misses. Yep, it misses after one mud slap, but not after three or four, apparently. Okay, hits me. That's fine. They heal this turn. I mud slap. Because at this point, its accuracy is going to be so low that it, it, it never hits me. Right? That's how it works, game. Thank you. Jesus, if that hit me again. At this point, Snorlax outleveled every Pokemon I fought by at least 10 levels, sometimes almost 20, and this made everything really, really easy. Um, wait, if I just snore this turn, that should be a dead Zubat. That's probably a dead Eradicate, I'd like to say. Yeah. What is Stab Multiplier? It's 1.5, isn't it? I don't know, it, it really doesn't make much of a difference though, because I'm, I'm like 19 levels higher than higher than them at this point. Once clearing out Team Rocket's hideout, it was time for Gym 7, the Ice-type gym. And during this, I reached level 42, and I got rid of Belly Drum for Body Slam, as it was starting to get riskier, losing half my HP to set up. See, I want to get rid of... Snore. I want to keep Rest. Actually, no, I think I'm going to get rid of Belly Drum. Yeah, let's get rid of Belly Drum. But yeah, so there's over half my HP gone on one turn whilst I'm still setting up. I've then got to use Rest, which requires me to not die to their next attack if I'm outsped. After clearing the radio station without any problems, I made my way to the Ape Gym, and I taught Snorlax Rollout instead of Mud Slap. And for Claire, I was able to Body Slam all of her Pokémon. Oh, wait. I was saying, surely, 
I don't need Whirlpool, do I? Because you need it to get to the place in the middle. Unless in this game she doesn't cry about losing or whatnot. She doesn't hand over the badge, does she? Can I get the full Oko sweep? Oh, well, we hit still. Oh, so close. Are they hyper potion? Oh, I've read hyper and I thought they hyper potioned again. They hyper beamed. All right, I win. Now it was time to make my way through Victory Road, and I had one final fight before the league against my rival. But for this fight, I had a plan. So I'm going to body slam the Sneasel. Then he sends out, is it the Magneton? Oh no, the Golbat. I'm going to body slam the Golbat. That's dead. I'm going to follow this up with Rollout. I know it's not very effective. God damn it, please don't paralyze me. But I'm hoping that the damage build-up will be good enough and that it will hit enough to the point that when Haunter comes out, I one-shot Haunter and then I miss my next turn. Yeah, there we go. Okay, honestly, I'm fine if rollout just doesn't miss. That that also works for me. It's got to miss now. And that should be dead for alligator. I don't see it living. Yeah. Okay, nice. That's exactly what I should have done. Right. It was now time to take on the Pokemon League, but before I did this, I bought the TM for Ice Punch Psychic and Punch, Headbutt right? so that I could restock my PP. The plan was to use Snore and Rest until they were out of PP, and then teach Snorlax Bring Headbutt on, well, and Ice Bring Punch. Bring it on. X Atu. Right, I'm gonna... First turn is gonna be a Body Slam. So I imagine it outspeeds me, but I don't want to risk using Rest beforehand. Okay, it's dead. I'm not entirely sure how tough this is going to be because I am level 56. Right, I fell asleep. It used Psychic. Oh, it woke me up? I must have fallen asleep due to the, the lovely kiss, because I also noticed that my HP didn't come back. Alright. Another turn of snoring. I outspeed it. Fast asleep, you snore. I will body slam this, because that should kill it. Or oh, not quite. Okay, so it psychics, which now means that this is a perfect time to use rest again. They didn't heal. Really? Okay, do they not use potions? How's this thing's defense? I 
didn't actually read that. I think the curse failed. So I was actually fine. Uh, yeah, I will body slam. Please hit it. Please hit it. Please hit it. Snorlax. Come on, man. Alright, I'm going to use rest then. Because I don't want to be wasting the PP in my stronger moves. Like I said, I want to. I'm gonna get rid of snore and rest during this fight because a full restore is basically the same thing as as rest. Yeah, I get full HP back and I take a, a hit. So don't hit yourself. 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 Come on, come on. I hate you, Snorlax. Uh, I need to sleep again. That was a misclick. Come on, Snorlax, there's no way we lose to the first fight. Oh, now he uses a max potion. Come on, Snorlax, you can do it. Come on, Snorlax. Yes, there we go. Okay. Will is down. That took much longer purely because of confusion. That's fine, though. I might forget Headbutt for Hyper Beam, but at the same time, that then means I've got to recharge the next turn. So I probably won't. That's basically what I'm saying. Um... Let's just body slam, go for stab. Plus, like I've said, Snorlax is a physical attacker, not a special attacker. Venomoth. Yes, and these puny bugs don't stand a chance. Can't believe I forgot to buy, or didn't think I should buy. Um... No. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna give up on Hyper Beam. I could go for a freeze, but there's like no way I get that. That by poison. Okay. Uh, body slam. Imagine I got paralysis there. Use Swift. I'm gonna headbutt it. Oh, I should have um, healed. I forgot that it used Protect. I should be fine for one more turn. I will headbutt. Hurt by Poison. Have I made a mistake? Oh my god, I did not expect it to deal so much damage. Yeah, I think if it didn't flinch, I was probably dead. I hadn't really paid attention to how much damage Thingy was dealing, but... Oh, it's scary. I should have used um, Body Slam. Mm, we'll see. I don't know, actually. I think Headbutt might have been the right call. <laughs> this one I'm worried about. It double teamed. There we go. I hate double team so much. 
and sand attack. Anything that lowers my accuracy or lowers their evasion. I just find it so obnoxious. At least he didn't use it like five times. Um, I don't really have anything else to heal you with. We were. Perfect. Didn't I have a HP up? Yeah. Oh, froze. Right. Battle number three is against Bruno, is it not? See, this will be a scary fight. Because he uses fighting types. Um... We just wanna we just wanna go for it. We just wanna go for it. I reckon he will be the scariest person here. Also, let me check. Let me get a type chart up. Gen two type chart. Yeah, okay. I am thinking that I've got to just go for. Because I wanted to save Body Slam for here. I got six. Six one shots? Well, there's one. <laughs> Okay, this is fine, this is fine. Yes! Oh, that's gonna hurt. No, it's not. That did like barely any damage. Snorlax is an iron wall. Maybe I just don't know how Pokemon works, that's more realistic. Sent out my champ. I feel like, yeah, so I feel like he's pretty slow. Uh, live, live, please. 10 HP. <laughs> That's not. Uh, if this would crit, that would be really nice. Oh, but it paralyzed. Let's go. Okay, it doesn't care. It doesn't care. But it doesn't matter, because I outspeed now. That does so much damage. Little headbutt. Two turns in a row on the paralysis. I've got max potions to spare, so I am going to use one here. That's not super effective, yeah. So that doesn't do too much to me. Headbutt. Paralyzed, can't move. No? Okay, paralysis doesn't affect them for this point. I swear, every single time I've had, like, a paralysis, the enemy has never actually not just hit me. Maybe there's, like, a mad conspiracy, but I, I think they cheat. There was still a problem though, a Gengar, but thankfully I had the TM for Shadow Ball, which allowed me to deal with it very easily. We Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball is a ghost type move, ghost type is super effective against ghost type. 
because ghosts are scared of other ghosts. We one-shot it with that. But ghost doesn't affect dark, does it? Does dark type even exist? It does. Ghost, ghost, ghost. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Or it affects it, it's just not great. Headbutt. It flinched headbutt. Headbutt. Yes. It missed. I believe in the Shadow Ball. It used Curse. It halves its HP. I use Shadow Ball. We avoided the Destiny Bond. Murkrow. Headbutt. I did not mean to Shadow Ball it. That was a misclick. That's what I get for mashing. Not very effective, because it's not great against Dark Types. I can't deal much damage. Crit hit, of course. So if, if this does an Oko, I'm dead. I've lost. I don't think it will. Oh, it does! Okay. After this, I forgot Headbutt for Ice Punch. Oh, I've been waiting for you, Matt. I knew... Actually, shut up. Shut up, I just want to fight. Yeah, I'm too impatient. Hurry up, speed up. Gyarados. Okay, I'm just gonna body slam. And I get paralysis. And okay, it used that's fine. Dead. I'm going to ice punch it. It used Thunder Wave. I hate you. Do I not have. Oh, no. It doesn't start you at the top of the bag. Full heals. Twister. Doesn't deal that much damage. Ice Punch. I'm just curious to see how much it does. And if it's crap, I'm just going to go back to Body Slamming. But it's super effective. To... At least Dragon. I can't remember if Ice is good against Flying. I think it is. I think I'm being an idiot. Okay. Ice Punch. Thunder Wave, that's fine. He Ice Punch, he doesn't care. That's another Oko. Halfway, halfway. Doesn't he have, like, a Charizard? An Aerodactyl. Okay. We're going back to Body Slamming. Rock Slide. Okay, now it has to recharge this next turn. So I'm going to Body Slam. If I could get Lucky Paralysis, I would be so happy. Okay, no Lucky Paralysis. Max Potion. I have no clue if I would have outsped it. I doubt it. It missed. Body Slam. Yeah, I wouldn't have. 
Uh, do you have like... Does that have like a higher critical hit move? Like chance? Charizard. Yep. Body slam. Okay, everything has hyper beam. I'm fine though. Okay, at one shot. See, this this is the advantage of being 13 levels too high. Then out. Dragonite. I'm gonna ice punch you. You're gonna outrage. Ice punch. Yes. Okay. We did it. We beat the lead for the first time. How much money are you paying me? 10k. After being crowd champion, I made my way to Kanto. Which was really easy because Snorlax was really overleveled. Doesn't like screen raise your special defense. Pretty sure that's what I read, and that's what I remember it doing. So, a bit of a useless move there. I got Thunder Badge. Oh, is that our last Pokemon? Oh, is it? It's a full Oko Sweet. I think. Yeah. Right. The Cascade badge. Although, I guess you'd only be about You'd be probably about that level, slightly higher, if you used other Pokemon. Anyway, that's the Rainbow Badge. <laughs> that's halfway through Kanto. Okay, so you live this hit. Congratulations. No, you don't. I thought dire hits were meant to leave you with 1 HP. I flattened them that well that I broke the dire hit. Uh, soul badge. Oh no it doesn't, no it doesn't. Because that would happen either way. Because it's after the turn, then they'd send it out. Um, I can't remember what type you are, but I'm just gonna body slam. It lived? Damn. Um, I'm trying to look at the thingy. Attacking type. Against water. Yeah, it's not great. Oh, I did win. Yeah, okay, I was going to say. I guess maybe it's a rock type and not a ground type. Dash. Yeah, I'm starting to think that I was wrong about being level uh, 75 by the time I get to this gym. I'm going to be like level 70, not this gym, uh, the league. And that's at a push. Because that's 7th badge here. I don't know. I think it's a psychic. I'm uh, like 90% sure it's a grass type. I don't mind this though, because this does mean that the, the run through of the league should be fairly- Oh, did I crit? I crit. Should be fairly challenging. Oh, 
After beating all eight gyms of Kanto, it was now time to fight Red, who also knew to overlevel his Pokemon. <laughs> I said that a crit hit could be bad. Hey, I landed a crit hit. Nice. <sighs> right now, I can't lose. That's what a dire hit does. I thought it meant that he'd live. Um. Please don't turn one paralyze me again. Thank you. It's not like I, I. Is mine paralyzed? No. I love how much the AI just ignores any status effects that it has. Is that a crit? That no, was not a crit. Like it's been paralyzed for like three turns. It moved every single one of them. Um, stab, lucky paralysis. Nope, never lucky. Right, there's no way. That it, that it crits me. No way. Yeah. And I'm gonna paralyze it here. Okay, this game is just bollocks. I don't actually think I needed to do that, but play it safe. Yeah, I think I might have actually. landed a crit hit since using a dire hit. Or is that another thing that just doesn't exist? Roll them out? Yeah, I was thinking that. But I also don't want to get locked in to a uh, 
a, a rollout. But yeah, yeah, but then I will deal with the thing afterwards. I have bad memories of rollout killing me. Only thing is, I. Oh, right. I'm I'm staying in. Now it rained on on it surfed because I was in death range. Uh. We elixir. It rain dances. I heal. I body slam and I finally get that crit hit off the dire hit. And it paralyzes. And then I body slam and it can't move. Because of paralysis. Nope, that doesn't exist. I'm dead. I'm not dead, but... I'm not risking it. I'm not risking it. I'm not risking it. Yeah, it hit me. I think I'd have died. Body slam. Paralyzed, it can't move. He probably full restores it. No, I win. See, Ash? You don't need to be over leveled if you have like 50 potions. Did I do it? Did I beat the video game? Did I beat it? Nice!